Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. It's yours truly, Ricky T. Anthony from Training with Pride, P-R-Y-D, and Muscle Central Television, where we cover news, information, entertainment on the bodybuilding and fitness industry, as well as we cover training and nutrition. Me and my partner, Mike Diamond, he's not with me tonight, but I'm just going to throw this little tidbit in here that will be broadcasted on both my and his channels. A message to Kai Green. Kai, you're a phenomenal bodybuilder. You were ranked number two in the world three consecutive years. You've won almost every other show out there that you competed in at a high level. Now, my thing to you is this. My message to Kai is this. Kai Green, it would be a great impact, a great benefit, a great everything to everyone yourself, the fans, and the industry if you compete in the 2018 Olympia. Why? Because you're the guy that everybody sees that has the potential to dethrone Phil Heath. If you compete, what does that say for the sport? What does that say for everybody, your fans, yourself? You have a chance at beating him, and Phil has been off. Your job, Mr. Kai Green, is to come in 110% in condition and bring your gut down or control it as much as you possibly can. You do, do, do those two things. You have a chance at being the sixth, I believe, or seventh person to dethrone a reigning defending Olympia in the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lee Haney, um, who else? Not Dorian. Dorian didn't do it. Um, Dexter Blade Jackson, Jay Cutler, and Phil Heath himself. You can be in that lineup. And you can be the first to stop a reigning defending Olympia champion from becoming almost immortal, if not immortal. If you compete in 2018 and 2019 and you beat him in 2018, he will never have eight consecutive and that will be on your belt. If he does win in 2018 and you compete in 2019, you have a chance of stopping him from being a nine-time winner and that will be on your belt. But if you don't compete in 2018 and or 2019, I see it totally irrelevant. I could give a rat's ass about Kai Green after 2019 if he doesn't compete in the Olympia. Because now you're just chiming in and doing what you want to do to benefit you and being selfish. Well, yeah, the fans are being selfish. I'm being selfish and saying I want you to compete. But think about what it does in the grand scheme of bodybuilding. Ticket sales, prize money, your endorsements, your supporters, um, your personal endorsements, your companies, your notoriety. Kai Green comes back. Even if you don't win, Kai Green comes back. And I've seen your videos, I've seen your posts, and I've seen you everywhere else. You stay in great shape. You stay training. Kai, you owe it to yourself, the fans, and the sport. Compete in 2018. Compete in 2019. And if you don't win in either of those years, you can walk away saying you've done your best. And the industry does not want me. If that's what you choose to believe. I believe the industry does want you and does need you. And if Phil should retire after 2019, you are the heir apparent. None of us are getting any younger. Kai Green, that's my message to you.
compete in 2018 and 2019 or just leave it all alone. Stop posting. Stop posting videos. Stop posting training videos. Stop commenting on this. Well, just, be, just become a commentator and leave competition alone. Just stop fooling the fans and stop fooling everybody else. But compete. Compete in 2018. Compete in 2019. I'd love to see it. Hundreds of thousands of fans would love to see it. It would petrify the hell out of Phil Heath because you're the only person that would push him to that limit, I think. And a lot of us think. And I believe you have the skill to beat him if you keep your stomach as tight as possible and bring in the most hard shredded condition than you ever bought in your life you might have to be about five pounds lighter than your last two Olympia appearances but you can do it we've seen you do it in the Arnolds we've seen you do it in other competitions you competed in where you bought amazing conditioning and the knock is you can't bring it for the big dance so bring it for the big dance prove everybody wrong tighten up that stomach have it about an inch or two smaller Control it better And bring down the giant that is Phil Heath It's not an anti-Phil Heath post This is all about Kai Green Whatever you believe, don't believe Whatever's in the, your mind That you think is stopping you, whatever You have a chance to prove it That is true or not true right now Bring your very best to the stage And you can stop Phil Heath at 7 Or you can stop him at eight com consecutive wins. Kai, it's all up to you. That's all I got. Ricky T. Anthony, Training with Pride, P-R-Y-D on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Along with my friend Michael Diamond, I'll be on Muscle Central TV. Giving bodybuilding news, sports, entertainment, and other bullshit that we do. At other times of the year. Ricky T. Anthony. I'm out.